What's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about ways you can increase revenue, profit, whatever you may call it, at the car wash. Let's say you maybe buy a car wash and the numbers weren't quite what you want it to be, or um, maybe that your numbers are really good and you just want to go ahead and increase your revenue, which is always great. These are some ways that are gonna help you. Um, some things that I've done, some things that I've come up with, some things that I've seen other people do. Uh, these are gonna be very beneficial for you. So please like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So one thing that's really popular right now is a dog wash. And what that is, is it's just a little place people can actually bring their dogs and wash them. That's what a dog wash is, um, it's in the name. So. Uh, you can actually add this into your car wash. I've actually considered doing this um, to mine where my old automatic bay used to be. There's like a little storage room on the side and that would be a perfect place um, in order to put a dog wash in. And these are becoming more and more common within car washes. A lot of car washes have like an indoor section. So let's say like I have a six self-serve bay car wash. Um, I could just take one of those bays enclose it or maybe even add some a little block building on the side or something it doesn't cost a huge amount of money um, and it is something that's gaining popularity so that's a great way to increase your revenue um, i'm not sure what all goes into that of course you have to have shampoos and stuff for like a dog and whatnot you have to have someone to install the actual dog wash there but that is a very good idea to keep in mind if you own a car wash or you're looking to buy one number two is car detailing you can charge major amounts for detailing people's cars. And since you already own a car wash, you could go ahead and put a car detailing business as well. I actually did this. So what I did was I bought the car wash and then I renamed it to be like blank, 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 my car wash and detailing. And then of course I advertised on Facebook. I got my name out there on Google and Yelp and stuff like that. And you know, starting a detailing business is not that expensive. I just bought like a little cart. Um, I just did some research on what all goes into detailing a car, different chemicals that were good quality. And I literally started a detailing business out of my car wash. Now, it's not something I devote a ton of time to, but if you were to buy a car wash, get a detailing business, you could really scale that detailing business up to something major. That's not a goal of mine, just because I don't really want another thing that's gonna take much of my time. But if I did wanna scale my detailing business through the roof, I could probably do that. So keep that in mind. Um, you've got a great place to advertise car detailing because you've got people who are coming to your car wash to get their cars cleaned. So obviously they care a little bit about their car and then you know detailing just takes it to a whole nother level. Um, I've seen people charge up to $300 for detailing, you know, some of like the bigger trucks, vans and stuff like that. And uh, you can make some major money with car detailing. Number three, is doing hand washes on the weekends. So the weekends, everyone's out. Um, they're off work more, more than likely. You probably are off work. Um, so hand washes on the weekends and just charging like 15, 20 bucks and hand wash a car, um, you're gonna make bank. Like I even had one of the guys I bought the car wash from, they said they set up and made, uh, they did like hand washes on like a Saturday or something, put a sign at the end of the road. People came through that like crazy. And I think they made like a thousand dollars in one weekend. Um, but you know, you see a lot of fundraisers and like cheerleaders, baseball players, stuff like that. They'll do hand washes and it's for like a, a fundraiser or something. Most of the time, not to harp on the people out there trying to do the fundraisers, but most of the time those hand washes, like they're moving so fast and like they're usually like kids that don't really care the hand washes aren't exactly up to par. They're not up to the best quality. So if you can get two or three fr of your friends out there and you guys all like, you know, hand wash the car and like really dedicate time and attention to this, but also move quickly so you can get more people through, you could make some serious bank doing just hand washes. Um, because you know, a lot of the automatic car washes, I'm not a fan of automatic car washes because you'll take it through the automatic and then you have to go to a self-serve car wash or you have to go home and wipe it down because the automatic car washes miss so many spots, it's ridiculous. Um, so hand washes are the best way to wash a car because you can get every single you know, crack and crevice of the car um, all around the little uh, indentions and the words and stuff. So um, if you can have a good hand washing business on the weekends, you've got extra money coming in right there. 
Number four, now this is something you may want to do. This is more of a long-term idea, and this is something that's going to cost a little bit of money to do, but I still want to throw it out there briefly. Um, let's say like I have six self-serve bays. If you wanted to, you could, you know, transform one of those bays into an automatic bay. Now automatic car wash equipment is not cheap. So this may be something you do on down the road. And this is something that's going to cost you a little bit extra money, but it is a, you know, an idea you can throw out there because automatic car washes do make good money. Um, but self-serve car washes do too, but that is an idea for you to increase revenue. Number five. Um, you add, got to add vending machines to your property. I have six vending machines. One vending machine is tire cleaner. One vending machine is interior cleaner, uh, little trees, air fresheners, um, some glass cleaner. And then I have like a big towel they can buy to like wipe their, dry their car off with. Um, not only is this a convenience thing for your customers, but also this is gonna you know, make you some extra money every month. Like I don't make a ton of money on vending machine products because I wanna keep my prices lower than like the dollar store down the road where they can go buy stuff for a dollar. But at the same time, it is convenient. So I may make like a quarter or something off of an air freshener, but at the same time, your uh, customers are gonna appreciate having those extra things there. You know, if they, they wash their car at your car wash and they wanna go pay 50 cents for a towel, they can do that and they won't have water spots on their car. So that's huge. I also have a Pepsi vending machine that I bought for $260 off Facebook. Um, so that's really nice to have because like right now it's a hot day in April and um, there's people out there washing their cars and I guarantee you they're going to get thirsty. When I'm down there washing my vehicles, I get thirsty and I love that my vending machine is there. So definitely add vending machines, not only for your customers, but also to increase revenue. Number six are ice machines. Ice machines, uh, you can like put them in parking lots or restaurants. Parking lots at car washes are a great way um, to make some more passive income on your property. Um, this is just big ice machines. Ice House America is one that I found to be awesome. Uh, you can find them online. That's a dealer that deals the uh, ice machines. But you put those on your property and people can come get ice in bags, in coolers. Um, you can fill up whatever you need with ice. And I, lucky for me, I live near a lake. So I get a ton of boaters um, passing my car wash to go to the lake. And a lot of people bring their boats to my car wash to rinse them off, you know, rinse them out, whatever, after a day on the lake. And so knowing that they, that there's an ice machine at my car wash would be awesome. Now I haven't done that yet. I'm still looking into it because I'm also building storage units on my car wash. So I'm trying to do one thing at a time and not get my, you know, hands in too many things <laughs> at once. Um, but this is a great way you could add another potential stream of passive income to your property. And what better place to do that than a car wash where there's tons of space, you know, to drive and you've got a parking lot and everything there. So um, that is a great idea as well to increase income. Number seven, just generally picking up and maintaining your car wash, the premises, the equipment, um, the looks, everything about it just take care of it and really care about it and put yourself in your customer shoes. What would you want to see more of? What do you don't want to see more of? What aggravates you? What do you like when you pull up? What do you like about the car wash? So really think about that and take that to heart um, because people are going to come back and spend their money with you. Uh, especially, you know, I gave you guys several methods to find car washes. One of those was to slide handwritten notes under the doors of rundown car washes. So if you're buying a rundown car wash, or, you know, maybe you're buying a nice car wash. Hold it to a higher standard than the previous owner, always. Um, maybe, like, for, for instance, me, I don't think the stickers on my Turner machines had been changed since, like, the 90s. Maybe, maybe it has, but it didn't look like it. Like, there were some Turners, you know, you turn and select what soap you want or if you want rinse or whatever. Some of those literally were so faded that you couldn't even see what you were selecting. Um, so just minor things like that. I put new stickers on the vacuums. Some of my vacuum hoses had duct tape on them. So I put, you know, new hoses. I replaced the hoses. I replaced the um, vacuum handles. Just little in non-expensive things that add up and that really, you know, can make your customers pull in and be like, dang, like this is a brand new car wash. Um, and then taking your, keeping your trash taken out regularly. Um, 
uh, keeping the the parking lot swept up very nice keep keeping your bays hose down i already showed you guys my daily tasks of what i do um, just stay on top of it don't let it get run down maintain your equipment as best you can if something breaks fix it as quickly as possible um, so yeah, that's a great, that's a great thing just to keep, you know, customers coming back and keep revenue coming in. Number eight, um, this kind of goes in hand with the last one I just talked about, but this is to raise your prices. Now I waited after, uh, it was about 11 months after I had bought the car wash. I raised my prices just a quarter. I raised it a quarter for vacuums and I raised it a quarter on the washes. And the reason I didn't do this starting out is because when I bought my car wash, um, it wasn't worth an extra quarter for a vacuum and a wash. It just wasn't in that great of condition. So now that I've, um, I keep it looking nice, I keep stuff up, I fix stuff as soon as I possibly can. I, um, I've replaced stuff. I've just, I make the, I've made the equipment run a lot better. And now, uh, finally, almost a year later of owning the car wash, it's up to par and it's worth raising the price and adding on that extra quarter for a vacuum and for a wash. So definitely don't go in there and just raise prices like out of nowhere. And also another thing is don't raise your prices like a whole dollar or a whole 75 cents. Just do it in increments. Like I only raise mine a quarter. Eventually, yes, I probably will add more quarters, you know, to uh, get a wash started. Plus with everything going on with the economy right now and everything's going up, uh, my chemicals have gone up too. So eventually I will do that, but I didn't just spike it up like crazy amounts on my customers. I, did, I am doing it gradually. And um, now I have a car wash that's in tip top condition. Equipment runs great, soap quality is amazing. And it is worth that extra quarter that they pay for the vacuums and the washes. So raise prices, that's the other one. And um, so those are eight tips you can do to increase revenue. Um, so if you're one of these people that are, are scared, you know, like, like, dang, I went and met with this car wash owner and the numbers weren't where I wanted them to be. Well, what can you do? What can you take from these eight ideas and buy the car wash and then make your money tenfold? You know what I mean? Like you could be making double what the previous owners were. So don't be afraid of that. I was not afraid of that. I've done things that have increased my revenue. I have doubled, literally doubled my profit from what, what it was making before I owned it. So you can do it too. These are some awesome ideas. Just imagine if you did every single one of these ideas, how much money you would be making. If you, you know, wrote out all of these ideas, you did the dog wash, you did the car detailing, the hand washes on the weekend, you put an automatic bay in there eventually, you added vending machines, you added an ice machine, you raised prices, and you generally just cleaned up and made improvements. You could literally, like the possibilities are endless, sky's the limit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe if you did. Um, click the link down below in my description if you want to see how I bought a car wash at 22 and step-by-step -step what I did. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon with another video.